What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's gonna be a new tutorial showing you guys how to add clouds into your footage, more specifically drone footage. This was actually a tutorial inspired by Ryan Nangle, he made a tutorial on this, I'm kind of following his same steps but doing this in Premiere Pro instead. So I'll leave a link to Ryan's channel in the description but he used this same image from pixabay.com so I just searched up clouds from above and it's a free download. So yeah, I'm just going to download this and then I'm going to bring in the picture to Premiere Pro. So yeah, you're just going to want to put it over your footage. Okay, so now what we want to do is key out everything but the clouds so we could just have the clouds in this. So we're going to search up non-red key. You can use a variety of different keying tools from Premiere, but I'm just using this one. So I'm just going to move the threshold and bring it down so we have a nice shape of the clouds. And then what you can also do is use a pen tool to create a mask around the clouds so we don't have like the whole ground, we just want the clouds. Okay, so now we're just going to want to nest this. So I'm going to right click and then press nest and create a new nested sequence. And then we can double click and go to that sequence. So. Now we're just going to work with the clouds in this sequence. Okay, so you're basically just going to want to play around with the shape and how big and small the clouds are. But first, you can actually go to the non-red key and if you want, you can play around with the defringing and the smoothing. So you can actually move the scale and adjust the clouds however you want and it'll be super fast and simple to put the clouds over your drone footage but I want to make this look a little bit better and more real. So I'm going to adjust the clouds and use the pen tool to create masks so that I can kind of separate it to make a unique shape of the clouds. What I'm going to do is with this image I'm going to actually go back to the pen tool and instead I'm just going to use the pen tool to to create one section so just use the pen tool to keep just the left side of the clouds and so then I'm just gonna delete that first mask we made earlier then I'm just gonna hold all on this clip and bring it to the first video line and delete that mask and then use the pen tool to create a mask on the right so we kind of have two separate groups of clouds so with this we can kind of adjust the scale and position and move it all around so we kind of get a nice looking image so yeah it might take a while to make it look really nice but here I'm sort of happy with this final product so once you have a nice set of clouds and you're ready to go back to your drone footage I'm gonna go back to my regular timeline with my drone footage and then I have my clouds over here. What we want to do is adjust the opacity so that it's kind of really faded because you don't want to have like the full opacity or else it looks so fake. So we're going to keep the opacity really low at around 8% and then you're going to want to bring that keyframe a little bit before the end of the clip and then we're going to make a next keyframe a little bit after and bring that down to zero. And then with the scale and position, in the beginning of the clip, just press the keyframe buttons for both. And then go to the end of the clip and you're going to want it to scale forward. And also for this one, I'm just going to adjust the position so that it moves downward. And you don't have to do that, but I just find that it looks a little bit better like that because it looks like the clouds are going a little bit lower. It might take a while for you guys to get this perfect and look really nice, but um, that's just a simple guideline that you guys can follow. And so yeah, I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.